Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to check whether the element is in enabled state or disabled state. So let's get started. In Selenium Python, to check whether a particular element is in enabled or disabled state, we have to use a command known as is underscore enabled command. This is how we have to use a command, guys. Is underscore enabled command, okay? For whatever the element you are checking, okay? This is enabled command will either return true or false. If the element here, which is found by Selenium, is in enabled state, then is enabled will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So let me show you one example in a manual way first. So let's say I'll open this browser. And uh, in that browser, I'll open this application URL that is omaya.blogspot.com. On this application, here, if I scroll down, there are two buttons, guys, okay? Button two and button one. So this button two is in enabled state, okay? Both are visible. You see, button two is visible, button one is also visible. But here, button two is in enabled state. You can click on that, right? You're able to click on this button two. But button one, as you can see, it's kind of, uh, you know, grayed out kind of thing. So we cannot perform any operation on this button one. We cannot even click on this, okay? This button one is in disabled state. So whenever you are performing some operations on this button, before you click on the button, it's a good practice to check whether this particular element is in enabled state or disabled state. If it is in enabled state only, you will perform the click operation. Otherwise, you will not perform. Like that kind of situations will come during the Selenium automation. So anyhow, uh, let's use this command now, okay? Let's uh, learn how to use this is enabled command in a practical way. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code written as part of explaining the previous session. So here, I'll remove this part. I'll remove this part. So here, I'll keep this part, okay? Okay? I'll not remove this part because this same, same code can be used for demonstrating this is enabled. So this step or this statement is going to open the Firefox browser. After that, it's going to maximize the browser window. Then it's going to open this application URL in the browser, okay? Like this, it will open the application URL in the browser. Now, what I want to check is, I want to check whether this particular button two is in enabled state or disabled state, okay? So if, I'll write if, I'll inspect this button two, which is currently in enabled state, as you can see visually, so this particular button two has an ID. I'll copy this ID of this uh, button two. And here I'll write down driver dot find element pi dot ID comma give the ID of that particular button and say dot is underscore enabled command. This is enabled command will return true if this particular button is in enabled state. Otherwise, it will return false. As you can clearly see on the UI, this button two is in enabled state, okay? So it should return true. I simply say enabled state, okay? The button is in enabled state. Else, I'll print, print, I'll simply say disabled state or disabled, whatever you can write, you can write here. Now run the script. It should print enabled state in the output console. Right click here and say run main. So in a while, you will see the Firefox browser, in, browser opening up, then it will maximize the browser window, then it will open this application URL in the browser. Let's wait for that. Maximize the browser window, it will open the application URL. Then it will check whether the button is in enabled state or disabled state and print the output in the console. You see enabled state, right? Since the button two is in enabled state, we got enabled state printed in the output. Similarly, we have one more button here, that is button one. I'll inspect this button one, which is in disabled state. And it also has an idea. I'll copy this idea of the button one and go to this uh, script. And here, instead of the idea of the button two, I'll give the idea of the button one. So now it will locate the button one. Okay, this uh, driver.find element uh, will locate the button one. And it, this command, is enabled command is going to return false because this particular button is in disabled state on the application. So disabled state should be printed when I run the script. I run the script. Let's see. It should print disabled state in the output console, guys. So let's wait for the output. So it will launch Firefox browser, then maximize it. Then 
open the application url in the browser it will close the browser you see it got this display it 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 has displayed disabled state it has printed disabled state in the output so guys this is how we have to use is enabled command in selenium python to check whether a particular given element is in enabled or disabled state so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye